Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you once again with my uh, From the Depths uh, new campaign uh, Let's Play. Uh, taking over from last time, where we were checking out the uh, some. Well, we only really saw one of the new community ships uh, that has been chucked into factions, and uh, for one reason or another, possibly because the units themselves are costing too much points, we're not really finding any enemies to face in the initial zones here. Like, I've gone through, I think, three or four zones now and haven't even encountered a single enemy. And I think I'm just going to get rid of that up front there. More than likely, I'm just going to ditch the uh, drill part of my drill ship. It's not really all that useful. Let's try engaging this area here. With my uh, starting ship. We'll see what happens. Should be, it'll probably be an instant win again. Instant win. Yep. I'm assuming anything under like a level 10 area is going to be an instant win. Another instant win, I think. Nope, we got a single enemy. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Zoom. And boom! Oh, shred them, babies. Shred them. Boom, 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 boom. Looks like he was just within range. So we finally had a victim of our lovely cannon, or cannon. Uh, missile rig of death. And since I can't really use this, I'm going to shut it off because it is wasting my fuel. There we go. It's turning off now. Unless I actually find an opponent worth battling with it, I'm not going to... Not gonna bother. So let's check out this one right here. So it seems level 5 and up we might actually finally start encountering an enemy. Yay! <laughs> uh, I like all these loading tips here now. Oh, nope, level 7 was still an insta win. I don't know then. Maybe it's just decided to be Captain Random. Let's try this level 6 area. Engage. Instant win again, I guess. Nope. Here we go. We got a we got a fight in our hands. Yeah, baby. Go get him. And boom! Oh, it's straight in the center of it too. And there's nothing left. Love it. It's just too effective. Let me actually see what I'm using right here. Tab out here. It's the only way I can actually build on this thing. There we go. So I'm using a single short range thruster, two tanks, a fin, and a frag warhead that's sent up or sent that's set up to uh, punch a pretty pretty deep hull or hole in these uh, suckers. Alright, so, off to the next area. Oh, hello. Looks like they're going to be invading me. Let me engage this level 7 area. I will intercept the enemy forces. Oh, there he is. Yeehaw! Adam Cowboy! Boom! Shakalaka! Whoop! Nope, couldn't curve up in time. And there we go. Oh, he didn't die with my initial strike. Oh, there we go. Looks like the last few of them were firing now. Lovely. I gain a little bit from that every time, but not a lot. Okay, I'm going to wait for him to engage me here. 
Then I'm going to take on this deep water guard area here and build up one of my uh, fortress forts on their resource zone. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's already engage the area. It's not worth waiting for him. Why bother wasting time, eh? Engage. Let's take him out. Two enemies, this one. Let's see if they can withstand my awesome barrage of death. Help! Oh, they went for the other one. Weird. It's like they can't decide who they're going for. There's one down. So it looks like it's one barrage per target. And... Goodbye! Oh, right in the ass! Oh, right up that ass! Ow! Oh, you poor bugger! Poor, poor bugger. You didn't stand a chance. Where you at, homie? Whoops, let me queue over here. Each turn. I can pretty much intercept that guy whenever I want, wherever I want. So, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna build up our fortress. There, I'll go forward here while I kinda watch him. Uh-oh. Actively forming up for battle, looks like they're coming for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep, 55 seconds till they come and attack me. They can bring it! Bring the pain! Unless it's missile pain, then you can keep it to yourselves. Because that's about the only thing that's probably going to stop me right now, is missiles. Breaks. All right. We shall be building this beast momentarily. Get ready to fire. I'm not sure with which direction the enemy will come. Prepare for battle and glory. Four, three, two, one. Engage. He's quite the distance away, probably way outside my missile range, but my missiles will still stay active, even if they don't quite reach the target. Oh wow, that's interesting looking ship. He's got a big ass cannon on him. Oh wait, they're kind of skipping, they're skipping, they're skipping, they're skipping, and... And... Oh, a few of them are hitting, a few of them are exploding. We'll give him a minute or so to get over here. Give him a couple more seconds, then we'll fire. Okay, that should be good. Round two, fire! And, come on, baby! Come on, baby! Oh, they're skippers again, I think. Yep, they're skippers again. But these ones should do some significant damage to it. Oh, yeah. Oops. All right, let's turn. Get them, lads! Oh, this will be dead on. This one will be dead on. So this is gonna, this is gonna shred them. Hmm. 
Boom, 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 boom. We're slowly taking them down here. We're like just shredding off the side of them. Come on, die! Die for me! And that should be it too. Yep, GG. Good fight, good fight. Now, uh, there was one person on a uh, previous video who was asking me how to spawn in like pre-built fortresses. Now, essentially you go into the build menu. E, so B and E. You go into MISC and you find the vehicle blueprint spawner and build one of these facing which whatever direction you want to build in. Next you need some repair tentacles, which I will now build. Like so. And once you have those, you want to hit uh, you want to go to this uh, spawner, hit Q. Adjust the spawn distance from you. Max hold time, I want to increase quite a bit. And then you select basic mining fortress or whatever you're using. For me, it's basic mining fortress. Now I gotta turn this thing around because I went and flipped for some damn reason. There we go. And then at any time that I feel like it's good enough, I can release it from the tractor beam. Now let me cancel the build tab over and fly it over here. So this is my basic mining fortress. It's obviously a bit twisted here because it's just the way it's set up here. But I can fix that later. If I so wish. Alright, let's go ahead and add on mirror mode. Engine. Crankshaft. What is this? A cylinder, so I need carburetors. Cylinder. Cylinder. Carburetor. Engine zone fuel tank. Resources. Resource gatherer. Hit G again so I don't actually have this thing displaced like that. Get some more oil drills. Turn off mirror mode. That should be perfect. We've got enough barrels. We have one converter. Let me add one more fuel processor there just in case. Alright. Now let's go get on my ride, which is still spinning for some damn reason. Alright, so we took it to the enemy, we destroyed them, and now we took this place over and we're going to be mining all this away. So, the next one they have is slightly more defensible, it looks like. So, we'll see how easily my ship takes on this level 15 area here. This will really determine how how well we take on the rest, but uh, I still actually have to enhance this thing too. I'm getting rid of the drills, I think. We got one enemy. Let's see what kind of enemy it is. Oh, it's this guy again. Oh no, it's a different enemy. What the hell is that? That's actually freaking cool looking. Holy crap. Although it looks like we pretty much shredded it.
I wonder whose design that was. It's pretty darn cool, I have to say. It's got like that shield on the front, but unfortunately, it wasn't facing the front. If it was, I'd probably be having some minor difficulty. But that is really freaking cool. And, oh, there's the shield again. Not that it matters, looks like I'm going under it. Oh, and there we go. Shredded beyond measure. Thus do I obtain victory for the Empire. Alright, so at this point, we're heading to Janwall. Engage. Well, you know what? Let's return to our starting location. Hmm. I don't want to save this whole thing. Save constructible. No, not save constructible, resume. Save sub object. It worked. Okay, good. So... I'm going to remove this. There may come a time where I face an enemy so powerful that my mighty missiles have no effect against them. But that time is not now. Now is the glory of the missile frigate. All the glory to the missile frigate. And I mean all glory. Because I shall share none. Not I say! But yeah, no. We're disassembling this. We're replacing it with a slightly different... Uh, well, I say slightly, but uh, I should say... Should be saying significantly different uh, setup. Essentially, it's going to be a wide vehicle. What do I mean by wide vehicle? You will find out here. Well, actually, let's go. Should be copying on the other side too. Actually, you know what? Let's remove it like so. That should be good. That should be sufficient. That's sufficiently wide? Yeah, I would say so. It's gonna look incredibly weird. I'm like, at this point, I'm like, dear God, I hope I turned on mirror mode.
kind of like a bit of a wing shape here going on. Now I'm still going to kind of keep the central hull roughly intact. But uh, we're going to have this kind of a setup here. It kind of looks like I could pretty much have this thing fly if I wanted to. But it's not going to. What is going to happen though is I'm going to deconstruct this whole thing and it's going to be replaced by two identical ones. So we're going to have two on either side of this that are going to be firing a ridiculous swarm of missile death on our enemies. I could have disassembled this a different way, but I chose to do it this way. As I have done before. There we go, now this can be removed. Alright, so... Oh, wait. I just now realized this wasn't getting repeated on the other side. Because I forgot to enable mirror mode again. Derp, 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 derp. That's okay. It's not quite the right way I run it. Not quite the way I want it. Like this. And now I'm just going to fill up the rest. I think. Yes. It's kind of awkward looking, isn't it? Ah, well, anyway, let's kind of uh, go up here. Water, air pump. Now this ass end should be floating like, should be floating beautifully, I should say. Okay, let's go sub-object using a 360-degree turret. Alright. Oh yeah, baby. This is going to rain death on our enemies. I 
Now, I still can mess around with the front here, but I don't think I'm going to right now. I have two sets of missiles, which should be more than enough to deal with any foe at the moment. But, but I say, let me enhance them. By that, I just mean kind of cover it. Make it a bit more solid. Now I made the other side heavier, so I gotta balance it out. And now I can't see shit. <laughs> God damn you, darkness. Why have thou blinded me? Okay, that should be good. Why is it still leaning on one side? Weird. There we go, that kind of evened it out a little bit. Now it's still way too much on that side for some reason. Huh. Okay, let's slow it down. That's going to be one downside to this we have to fix. Which is that we have this all too freaking close to that now. So, wood block. Alright. Let's extend this out. One more. And we'll add on the beacon. Misc. Uh, where is it? Spawning beacon. I'm gonna kind of cover this thing a bit, so that if we, if I do happen to somehow, by some miracle, get hit, and this thing doesn't get destroyed, then it will be able to spawn me. As for the rest of this, it has to go away a bit and shrink. Pretty much going to make a tiny little bunker around me, essentially. Now, it's a bit longer than I typically go, I think. What am I on right now? 30 minutes? Ah, great. I'm getting CPU warnings again. Uh, now, I'm, I don't know... Hmm. Damn it.
But yeah, I am starting to unfortunately get some. Uh, I need to. I need to upgrade my computer essentially, which I currently do not have the money to do. Shame that. Hopefully I'll be able to scrounge up enough money together at some point in the next, uh, maybe next month to get a water cooler and a new power supply. But, uh, currently I'm a little bit, uh, yeah, underperforming when it comes to my computer. Alright. So I can still barely move while I'm in here. Okay. Well, I got an idea. Sort of fixed that, but no, we're good. Mm. What should I save this as? I don't know. Oh, caps lock. I guess that works. At least it's no longer starting rake. I was just like, what the hell? Uh, Gen Wall. Engage this area. Missile wing. I might actually uh, chuck some thrusters on this thing at some point. Come on, baby. Oh, you poor bastards. You don't even know what's about to come down on you. I just see the uh, one downside of this rig now. Resources. Needs more ammo processors. shield's going to collapse here in a second. Oh wow, there's one down. As the rest of it just makes a beeline towards the last vehicle, still alive. That's funny. So clearly, clearly, I have to increase the energy power, move the ammo bays to the back of either side. So let's go resources, ammo barrels. I think that's dead center. It is. Okay, let's go... Ammo processor, no, let's go... Blocks. Light white ally blocks. To protect it from frontal damage. And in front of that, we're just gonna put wood blocks. as to kind of section it off and absorb any blow that might come against it. 
Now, let's expose. Expose the engine. Sorry, lads, but you ain't no use to me there anymore. Whoops. All right, let's extend the engine. Crankshaft. Probably not nearly that much, to be honest. Okay, what do we end up with? Carburetors. So, cylinders. Perfect. Carburetors. Cylinders. Engine zone fuel tank. And let's add in some supercharger. Resources. Get a fuel processor up in here. Get my fuel storage tanks. Whoops. Might have to put that right there. And that should be sufficient. Now, on the parts that I have not blocked here, though, let me go engines, exhaust. I can turn this off now. And pop these beautiful exhausts on these guys. Put the uh, mirror mode back on. And we can go ahead and patch this thing back up. Nice. So we should have now have an engine capable of doing what we need it to do. Now resources, ammunition processors, there we go. And again we should have enough ammo now. On to the next area. Level 13, engage. Missile wing, go! Engage. Now this ship is definitely not capable of taking on the uh, enemy's fortress, but it would pretty much F up anything other than their fortress. That I'm aware of. The Deepwater Guard did get their whole loadout changed, so for all I know they could have some interesting new stuff. Oh, we got some flyers. Oh, it's the old flyers. Oh, watch this guy just get shredded. Hello. Looks like the punks got actually an armored hull. Resources. Okay, we're down to one ship. Finish him, boys. That should do it. Actually, I did kind of overkill it. Like a lot. So you know what?
There we go. So we got 44 rockets ready to fire whenever I need them to. That's not too bad at all. View board map. Next area's got some good stuff for me. RZ. What the hell is RZ? Oh, resource zone. RZ. Duh. Durr. Derpa derpa. Alright. Let's wipe these suckers out. We have one enemy. We have cannon number two. Engage. I don't think I need to have two of them firing at this guy. Nope. Two is unnecessary, looks like. Oh, we're gonna have a skipping fight, I think. Nope. We're good. Just barely had enough fuel to make it. Well, one missed. Nope, two missed. And the rest shredded them up. So yeah, <laughs> this this is a pretty effective ship. This is a pretty damn effective ship. Could you imagine if I added rockets on the back of this thing and some uh, some like wings along the entire side here? This thing would be glorious. This would be my uh, my Tie Fighter of Death, or is it? I don't know. Why why wing? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've watched that. I'm sorry, I can't remember. I can't remember the uh, shapes of a lot of those. Yeah, I could definitely add some jets on this baby. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that is for another time. Let me go ahead and save the game. As... New campaign. So I'll save it in slot three as new campaign. I will uh, catch you guys next time where we will continue to invade the enemy's areas. I'll probably build my starting fortress or mining fortress here and have that uh, while well, do its mining. And other than that, we'll just have to wait and see. So thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a great one. And I will catch you all probably next Wednesday. I'll try and do this every Wednesday with the escapists. I have been working Wednesdays lately, which is why I've only been able to get the escapists up and uh, why there was not a video for this last week. Also, it's because I forgot. I apologize. <laughs> I do apologize. But yeah, I will catch you guys next uh, Wednesday with some more. Peace out.